Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, is engulfed with an almost unbreakable shell of ice. But, underneath the thick shell, there lies a saltwater ocean, which is twice as vast as here on Earth. Scientists strongly believe that this untouched ocean is one of the best places to look for extraterrestrial life. It's a shame we couldn't explore it as we always suffer certain primitive design loopholes considering Europa is far from the sun. Well, not anymore, as NASA scientists say, they have cracked the code. Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. Hit the subscribe button to get the cool space updates first. Europa is nearly 630 million kilometers away from the Earth. But, distance is not stopping us from exploring it. It's Europa's thick layer of ice, which is measured to be up to 25 kilometers. Good enough to defeat our expert missions. But, NASA's team of engineers from the Jet Propulsion Laboratory apparently have a solution. That is, sending a swarm of swimming microbots that will be deployed from a main mothership bot. Among the most likely ones for the missions is the SESAMI which is subsurface access mechanism for Europa. A type of thermomechanical drilling robot that can completely drill through Europa's thick icy shell by melting, cutting, and burning down to reach between its ice and the undersea ocean. What next? The SESAMI itself can't swim down to collect data as it would be drained with all the ice drilling. Enters SWIM, which is sensing with independent microswimmers. SWIM refers to a ton of mini underwater robots, barely the size of a cell phone. These will be detached and deployed from SESAMI, the mothership, and move autonomously to investigate the gigantic ocean. But, doing that with a tether is very tricky. FYI a space tether is a thin, long cable used to keep the spacecraft together as they orbit the central body. The tether would get tangled and untying that from another world is an uphill battle. So, NASA scientists suggest using an ultrasonic communication system, for sending data from microbots to the mothership and vice versa. Europa offers some of the most thrilling environments in the solar system. Over the decades, scientists have discovered entire ecosystems on Earth, that live independently from the sun, by using energy emitted from thermal vents. There is a good chance that Saturn's moon, Enceladus, also has thermal vents in its oceans and that the microswimmers can investigate them. This definitely increases the chance of finding life on one of these ocean worlds. This concept will take its sweet time to get the design going but, we can wait. The design might be the way to hunt life in foreign water worlds. With every other concept being sketched out, the chance of finding extraterrestrial life excitingly increases. The question here is, how quickly will we do it? What do you guys think? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.